Hutfall, the name of this squatter camp in Bloemfontein, and the mood of its residents. They say they're tired of their living conditions and of waiting for a decent roof over their heads. The Free State Government says it's trying its best, but there are many needy residents in this province, and they're trying to provide homes, not just houses. We are trying to, to, to bring back the dignity of our people to be very creative and for our voters, for our communities to be satisfied. We are building for everybody, black, white, everybody who wants to build, who qualifies, who earns less than 3,500, we do build for them. The province has provided just under 200,000 homes since 1994. These include so-called RDP houses, social housing, and community residential units catering to low-income tenants. One resident of Bloemfontein's Haydadar Township believes she has good reason to sing the praises of the province's housing projects. I've been living in the street for 32 years. This house used to have only two rooms, but now there's a big difference because the toilet used to be outside and I had to go fetch water from outside. Everything is inside now. Niels is the recipient of one of the province's new look RDP houses. Gone are the old matchbox structures which all looked alike. They're being replaced by houses of varying sizes and designs. We decided to, 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 to increase the space uh, 50 square meters. At times we have built uh, 60 uh, square meters, at times we have built 74 square meters. And uh, we, have, uh, 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 we have reconstructed, we have uh, de destroyed, uh, dilapidated two-room houses, one-room houses. We are still continuing with that legacy. We are building a house uh, and, and uh, different from what we have been doing. We are coming with different styles because we don't want people to be bored by the same houses and so forth and so forth. And people are very happy about them. The province has several different styles of houses available. And there's also low-cost rental housing for those who do not qualify for RDP houses, yet earn too little to qualify for a bond on their own home. But there's still much to be done to ensure dignified housing for all the province's citizens, especially where bucket and VIP toilets are concerned. To remind you is that we are not only dealing with buckets in the province. It's buckets, it is uh, VIPs, it is the pit latrines, but we are doing them all at once with the budget that we get. The province has budgeted more than 900 million rand to be spent over coming years to provide waterborne toilets in all its new houses. And they hope they can inspire other provinces to follow the Free State's lead in reimagining of RDP housing. Ulkutsia, Bloemfontein.